Great is Our God, Devotional Readings for Adults, written by Fernanda Zabala, being read by Deshaun Chung. Day 94, On His Shoulders. Scripture passage comes to us from Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Have you ever felt as if the weight of the world rested on your shoulders, that your burdens are so many and so heavy that at times they threaten to crush you? That was how Alfred C. Muckler, then president of the North American Division, felt one morning. Only he did not exactly know the cause of his discomfort. His workload was not unusual. His travel itinerary did not look overloaded, but he felt an enormous weight on himself. Then he decided to read something that would encourage him, and he recalled a thought from Oswald Chamberlain that could help him. He searched and searched until he finally found it. It said, Cast your burden on the Lord. See Psalm 55 verse 22. If we undertake a work for God and lose contact with him, the sense of responsibility will be extremely overwhelming. The government will be upon his shoulder. The weight of the load will be relieved thanks to the feeling of his company. It was exactly what he needed. How had he thought of doing the Lord's work without the Lord of the work? No wonder Muckler felt the weight of the world weighing on his shoulders. The words he read reminded him that he was never alone to face his trials because the same Lord who invites us to give him our burdens also exhorts us to bear his yoke. And his yoke, it is worth saying, is not a weight. It is a gift by which he walks beside us and makes the burden more bearable. Above all, Chambers' words helped to refresh in his mind the fact that no matter how heavy the work schedule is or how strong the trials are, we must never lose contact with him. That is, daily communion with our Lord through the study of his word and through prayer. If you are going through difficult times, there are at least two things you should remember. One, that you can take your burdens to the Lord right now, no matter how heavy they are. The Bible promise is that the government will be upon his shoulder. Isaiah 9, 6. The other is that under no circumstances should you lose contact with him. Each test is ultimately an invitation to pray. As Ellen G. White says, I ask you not to take the ordering of your life out of his hands. Dear Jesus, I accept your invitation to place my burdens on your shoulders. Please help me so that nothing will prevent me from having a personal encounter with you every day.